Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today we're going to, well, we almost ran a load to Otama. Only made it to Grinnell. So yeah, we do end up getting fixed, but uh, we struggle some more. Stay tuned for some more owner-operator trucking. Good morning. It's a good, good morning. We're, we're, we're cruising this morning, headed on into the yard. I couldn't uh, text in until 7, so that's what I did. It's probably 7.15 right now. And uh, we're going down to Atumwa. Uh Truck's running great. Leaving it run overnight, high idle, was just what the doctor, to, uh, doctor ordered. Uh, I think I mentioned yesterday that I had a little bit of restriction, I could tell from the level of the fuel, in the fuel water separator. And uh, that restriction has gone away. The level has gone back down to where it should be. So we clearly warmed up that fuel good. And that's that's a huge blessing. I At some point today, I need to stop and get a, a two micron um, filter, spin on, engine mounted, whatever you want to call it. And uh, just so I have it in the truck, I have another, fuel water separator but I'm gonna go ahead and let you go and we'll see you in the yard oh we made it into the yard my brakes are acting a little weird they're really touchy so we're gonna have to be careful with that when, when I get a trailer on we should be able to work that out pretty good I should probably figure out what trailer I'm getting I'm going to a Tumwa uh, 12311 okay one of the new trailers that's good that makes me happy this morning. One, two, three, one, one. All right, let's get hooked up. Well, can you guys hear that? We didn't pick up our trailer. I can't make this stuff up, guys. This is not my week. There's something that happened also that I'm not going to tell you about because I'm a little too frustrated about it. Um, probably my own stupidity, partially equipment malfunction. Anyway, didn't break anything. Um, the um, what's it called? It's a safety valve on top of my air compressor is dumping. So it's not letting me build full air pressure. Um, I mean, I have enough. But I'm running over to, to Napa right now. Because they have the right valve. This is so annoying. I might get a load done today. <laughs> Oh, I gotta go down him. Anyway, that's that's what's going on. A more another real video, guys. This is. I wasn't the only one that was gelled up on Monday, so that's good to know. I wasn't. I don't feel quite as dumb. And I'm not the only one to do this stupid thing that I did this morning that I didn't tell you about. Maybe I will eventually. For now, let's get into get into downtown here and. Uh, find the right part well we are headed back to our trailer uh we're inside the yard right now like way in the yard our trailer is still sitting right there <laughs> where i left it uh when i had troubles um that part i took it off and went inside napa and tried to get them to get me the part they didn't have it like i thought they did and then uh so they ordered it for me it'll be here later today I put mine back on and um, well now it's working so that's sort of scary um, but we're gonna roll with it and uh, I was building air pressure just not as fast as I should have been so we're gonna do this one load and then we're gonna ch change it out 
because I ain't about to, about to get stranded somewhere. So. Our lonely trailer there in the middle of the yard. Should be lifted up a little higher than earlier. Okay. Catch you in a minute. For now, we're rolling, guys. This has been another very frustrating day. But, like I say, for now, we're rolling. We, uh, the valve was working. And then it stopped working. And it's working again. And I, we, I, we can limp this load done. Um, yeah, we're going to limp this load done and we're going to call this one load to a ton wood bit for today. Our part will be at Napa at 1130. Uh, so I will pick that up on my way home or later on tonight before they close. Um, yeah. The, the real world of owner-operator trucking right here, guys. Off two days because we're gelled up. And then once we get back, trouble's right and left. Cold is so bad. The really frigid cold is really, really bad for equipment. Period. And so I don't I don't know exactly what happened to that the valve. But it wasn't frozen. I know it wasn't frozen because it was it was warm, the same temperature as the air compressor in the engine. Um, so, anyway, we're gonna get uh, get on down to a tumbler. Well, guys, I don't know how well you know these roads, but <clears throat> we're going the wrong direction and we're loaded. I don't know how far I got either before, uh, I don't know what I had told you last, but we were limping down to uh, Atumwa and I got to Grinnell and she wouldn't build air pressure. And, uh, well, we're headed back to the yard. We have the system tricked to build air pressure, but even when, even with it tricked, it builds air pressure very slowly. So, that relief valve is not the only problem. My guess is, well, the, the um, yeah, my guess is the governor or the air compressor is bad. So, I gotta go to Napa to get that part. Uh, let's see if they have a governor. Slap that on there. And, uh, well, if that doesn't do it, then we're going to be doing an air compressor. I don't have any major leaks. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. Yeah. You guys can comment down below if I'm way off base. But we're broken down again, guys. We cannot win this week. We cannot win. The good news about this trip home is um, I shouldn't have to use my brakes again until maybe even the yard. So that would be nice because I don't want to have to try to build air pressure again. Oh, I don't know what to say, guys. I'm beyond frustrated. I'm very beat. Yeah. 
I'll see you when we get back to the yard. All right, guys, I'm back here at the house now. I didn't film at the, at the shop or at the yard. Went to Nampa. They hadn't got that part in. As you can see, I tricked it into not working, not functioning, which is probably a terrible thing to do, but you know, that's what it did. And you know, it got me home. But uh, it's still not building air pressure. So actually, they, they said it was going to get there at 1130. It didn't even get there at 130. Um, don't know when it's going to get there. Sometime this afternoon, probably. So I'll be back in there at some point. For now, this is not losing air. But I'm still not building air pressure quickly. So... I have a new one of these, cost me less than 20 bucks. Um, we're gonna replace it and we're gonna see if we build air pressure. If we don't, I am going to, well, I don't think it's it, but I'm gonna put some more airline antifreeze in different spots and see if we can, if there's a blockage maybe? Oh, I don't know, probably not. It's probably the air compressor, so. Uh, anyway, we're going to get this replaced quick, and then we'll get back with you. Well, I think we solved the issue. Replace this guy. And it pumps at idle. Pumps right up. So, I am still going to replace this valve right here. Um, just go in town early enough to get that done i'll get to uh, well get to napa get that part i'm going to tell them i'm ready to run for tomorrow <laughs> so, uh it's been a day guys it's been a it's been a lot of things oh <sighs> it's been a week i don't know what else to say thanks for bearing with me again today cross our fingers tomorrow is going to be we're going to be running tomorrow <laughs> cross our fingers anyway we're going to leave you here with staring at my um, cat 3 or 4 6 e it's a good engine but uh, she don't like the cold anyway thanks for watching comment down below if you had a similar issue um, that would be nice to know that it also solved a problem hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you would and we'll see you in the next one